Now we continue with the BJT amplifier for the high frequency response. So in this example, voltage divider bias configuration with bypass RE is used to show how high frequency response can be obtained. First, the configuration can be drawn back as like this the AC equivalent circuit okay so remember that there is C in and also C out okay the high frequency response will be examined from the input side FH in to get the FH in and for the output side to find the FH out so means that we will get FH in here and we will get FH out here. See, so remember back the basic uh, formula for the frequency is 1 over 2 pi RC. And here 1 over 2 pi RC. So for the C here, which uh, capacitor uh, is involved? In this equation so for the H in it will be C in and for the C out it will be here for the FH out okay and this R is resistor is uh, all uh, impedance here and this R all impedance here okay Let's we take a look for the next. Okay. To determine the FH in at input side. So as I mentioned before, the capacitor uh, that related with the C in is CW in, C dot CBE, and CM in, or Miller at input. So, this CM in, the formula is 1 minus voltage gain and multiply with CF. And now, CF for this circuit is CBC. Remember that this capacitor is connected, connected between B terminal and C terminal. So, we get CBC. Okay, then the overall input capacitor now is total of the CW in, CBE and CM in. Okay. Then, once we calculate the capacitor, now, okay, we already get the capacitor value. Now, we calculate the RTH. Okay. Now, the RTH for the voltage divider circuit is RS parallel with R1, parallel with R2, and parallel with beta RE. Okay, don't forget the beta RE here. Then, insert this RTH into the equation and the set C in. Okay, so we get FH in. Next for the FH out, which is the frequency at the output side. So the C out contains the CW out, CCE and CMO. Okay. Then the CMO is 1 minus 1 over AV. Sorry, this is not CGD. Uh, C, it becomes the CC. CBC okay the CBC uh, 1 minus 1 over AV multiply with CF so this CF is CBC okay so the overall output capacitor is CW out plus CCE and plus CM out then we find the RTH out okay the R7 in at output so R out 
parallel with RC and parallel with RL. Then insert in the formula here. So we get FH out. There are two high frequency response as discussed previously. So we get FH in and FH out. So for the whole system, the high frequency response will be the smallest value of from both high frequency value. If we compare with the low frequency response, the comparison have been made uh, between three low frequency response. We choose the highest one. However, for this high frequency response, we choose the smallest val value between FH in and FH out. This is because for the high frequency response, high frequency response we want to know which frequency that make the gain reduce to the zero from the um, reduce from one until zero so for the this is for the low frequency response and this is high frequency response where we have fh out and fh in so this is the uh, sorry for the higher frequency we choose the smallest value for the low frequency we choose the highest value 